Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. So today's video will be a wash and style day using products from only one brand. I don't know if you guys remember, but back in the day, like a year plus ago, I used to do one brand Wednesdays where every Wednesday I would do my hair using products from only one brand. So if you guys do want me to bring that back, then comment and let me know. It would be one Wednesday a month, not one Wednesday a week or one Wednesday every other week. It would be one a month. So comment and let me know. But yes, today is a one brand wash and style day using products from texture id so before we get started make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a big thumbs up if you guys are excited and drop a comment down below with your thoughts comments questions or opinions on anything discussed in today's video after you watch this entire video and without further ado let's go ahead and get started so in today's video i'll be using five products that i purchased from sally beauty from the brand texture id in case you guys don't know texture id has a lot of claims she does claim to work for all hair types from type one hair to type four hair so i'm very interested to try these products out i've had them in my stash for some time now but i said let me bring her out because as you guys may or may not know i'm trying to make an honest effort to use more products that i have in my collection so here is my attempt of doing that so first part of the video is going to be me in the shower second part is going to be me taking my hair down for day one here and then the third part of this video is going to be how i achieve my day two here which you guys usually see when i record my videos when i post on instagram so i do want to give you guys a detailed rundown of how i do that so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video hey guys so we in the shower with it this is the wash demo using these products. So I'm starting off on crusty hair. My hair was tired of being in this little pony situation. I have so much product buildup. So today was wash day. It was time. So as you guys know, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to saturate my hair with water. And this step took me a little bit extra time today because my hair was super dry. But you want to make sure no matter how long it takes that you saturate your hair with water before you start your wash day. Water is a humectant. Water is the most important humectant for our natural hair. So you wanna make sure that your hair is nice and wet before you start applying any product during your wash day. Do not start on dry hair because it's just gonna be a no. So make sure you guys saturate your hair with water before you start your wash day. So the first product that I'm gonna pick up it's the Texture ID clarifying, Curl Clarifying Shampoo. And I'm going to go ahead and work this into my hair. The consistency of this product was pretty pleasant. It wasn't hard to work into my hair at all. It did have like a creamy consistency to it, but it wasn't like thick. So I was here for the consistency of this shampoo. It was a little different compared to like other shampoos that I have used in my hair. But overall, I loved it. The performance and the consistency of this shampoo it did an amazing job clarifying my hair getting rid of the product builds up as well as also moisturizing my hair it did not strip my hair of its natural nutrients which was a plus and this shampoo is also sulfate free i did want to emphasize that because i have been just into using sulfate free shampoos i definitely see a difference between if a shampoo has sulfates and doesn't so i just wanted to I like that but yeah my scalp was so clean after using the shampoo i was utterly impressed because my hair was dirty like i'm not even gonna front my hair was dirty so the fact that this shampoo did such a great job clarifying my hair and i didn't even have to put in like too much work like yeah i had to scrub my scalp but i didn't have to like go that extra mile so i was very happy about the performance of the shampoo also i as i was applying it to my hair i was also detangling because my hair was my hair was a hot mess okay girl so the shampoo made it super easy to detangle my hair while i had it in also i noticed that the shampoo got my curls popping okay girl like step one shampooing my curls were popping so i was absolutely here for it overall i love the performance of the shampoo the shampoo also doesn't have a heavy scent even though it does have honey in it so i did want to specify that because i know you guys some of you guys are interested in like the set of products so after i worked that shampoo into my hair and finger detangle my hair i did go in and rinse the shampoo out it was super easy to wash out i was honestly impressed because majority of the products that 
I'm using in today's video are $8.99, which I consider to be, I don't want to say cheap, but lesser priced than other products that I use and I have in my stash. So I did want to say that I'll have the links for everything that I use in this video down below. But girl, this shampoo, $8.99 from Sally Beauty. So the fact that it performed better than these $20 shampoos, $20 plus dollar shampoos that I have, I was just like, yeah. Mm -hmm. this is a go and the fact that the ingredients of this shampoo are so clean as i mentioned it is sulfate free which is a huge key that i look for in shampoos now i was here for it so this is what my hair is looking like after i rinse the shampoo out nice and fluffy and juicy so next i'm going to go in with the texture id three times moisture cream conditioner and just in case i didn't emphasize it already texture id products claim to work on all hair types from type 1 hair to type 4 hair. As you guys may or may not know, I do have type 4 hair. I have like 4B, I guess you can say here. Comment and let me know what your thoughts are. But I'm not too into hair typing. I'm just into trying out what I see and what I have. And it's either it's going to work or it's not. That's how I feel. But I went in and applied this conditioner to each half of my head. And it did a good job. This conditioner did have a lot of slip. I did have some tangles left after I did that finger detangling in the shampoo stage. So I did go in and finger detangle again. And this conditioner, once again, made it super easy. So I'm here for it. It was super creamy. My hair was nice and coated. Curls were popping. Hair was nice, voluminous, bouncy, shiny, and all of that. So this conditioner... Once again, another plus. The conditioner also has honey in it. And once again, the scent of the product wasn't too heavy. As you guys may or may not know, I'm not too into like sweet scents or super scented products because after a while, my head just start hurting when things are too sweet. So I was kind of concerned because I'm like, honey, hmm. But it was absolutely fine. I loved this conditioner. It did such a great job just moisturizing my hair which was my main key for this wash day because my hair was dry af but y'all my hair is really growing i'm gonna give y'all that video like next week of what i've been using to help my hair grow so now i'm gonna go in with the hair mask this is a texture id deep treatment mask and i just had this so i used it but it's not necessary i don't think to do a conditioning step in the deep conditioning but i had it so i was like let me go ahead and use it but this deep conditioner smelled so good it didn't have a heavy scent at all i had more of like a clean scent if that makes sense but i went in and just applied it to each half of my head it was super easy to apply onto my head and overall this deep conditioning step i just felt like it gave the same tea as a conditioner so if you want to save some money you don't have to get both you could get the conditioner and just use it as a deep conditioner which is something that i've been doing a lot with my conditioners lately just applying it to my hair and letting it sit on for the same amount of time that i let my deep conditioner sit on and i call it a day okay honey? i do not have the time to say the storage to be having a million and one products from brands so i just use what works for me and i call it a day but as i mentioned i purchased these products a while ago so i was like let me go ahead and use them but i just went in with a little bit extra at the end as i always do just to make sure that all of my hair is coated and i did figure detangle as i was applying this product to my hair to make sure my hair was nice and detangled but my curls were already popping so listen i was here for it okay so once i applied the deep conditioner i went in with a plastic cap i don't know where kim got these from i still own my plastic caps from kim okay so i went in I just put it on my head and I let the deep conditioner sit in my hair for 15 minutes as I did my shower routine. If you guys didn't see my shower routine, I'll link it up above and down below. But yeah, I let it sit in my hair for 15 minutes. And once the 15 minutes was up, I came back to rinse out that hair mask. And y'all, my curls were popping. My hair felt so good. I was just like, ooh, these products, texture ID listen i don't know why i slept on these products for so long but if you have not tried texture id before i did this whole video to tell y'all that y'all need to try out texture id it's reasonably priced it's in sally beauty if you don't have a sally beauty near you you can order it online and yeah this deep conditioner once i rinsed it out my hair felt so good my hair was like so soft i was impressed because as you guys saw my hair was very chaotic <laughs> at the beginning of this video it was dry it was tangled so 
this deep conditioner kind of bring it all together before I went in and did the styling steps of my wash style day routine. So yeah, I really love this hair mask. But once I went ahead and rinsed the hair mask out, this is what my hair was looking like. Girl. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and style my hair. The first thing I'm going to use is the Texture ID Styling Cream. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit of this and apply it to each section when i'm styling my hair i like to work in smaller sections just to make sure that my twists are getting the tlc that they deserve now i'm gonna go in with the texture id thermal multi-styling foam i wanted to try something different today so i was like let me mix a cream with a foam to achieve my twist style so that's exactly what i did i just followed up on top of that cream with the foam and instantly as i applied the foam on top of that cream my curls started to clump up girl i was just like what let me find out that i need to start putting a foam on top of my creams when i do my twist out so i don't know if it's just texture id so i'm gonna try some things in the future and i'll let you guys know i'll give you guys an update but i just went in and did two strand twists on my hair and that's basically the style I wanted to do today. You guys been asking for more styling in my videos. So I figured instead of just doing wash day, sometimes I'll combine like the styling steps along. So you guys can see exactly how I style my hair after I wash it. But another thing I like to do is I like to style my hair in the shower sometimes just because one you know it gets a little messy sometimes and if the mess is inside the shower it's easier to clean up versus the mess being inside of my room so that's one and two i just feel like the moisture like the leftover moisture from us washing our hair helps moisturize my hair too i don't know if i'm being dramatic or what but you guys know my goals in room is to apply that leave-in before you head out from that shower so i just feel like something in the shower just be helping the hair to stay more moisturized as i style in the shower versus outside of the shower so i just wanted to share that little tip on why i like styling my hair inside of the shower but y'all my twists were juicy okay girl i was so impressed i'm like wow my hair looks so good it feels so good it was nice and shiny like it wasn't as dull as it usually is when i use like other products to do my um wash and style days so i will say that and honestly i feel like my main thing with this wash day is that these products are so reasonably priced that i honestly wasn't expecting them to perform this way i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all but yeah so this is how my twists look after and once i finished twisting my hair i did sit under my well my sister's hooded dryer for about 30 minutes just to make sure my hair was dry and then i came back to you guys the following day hey guys so it is the next day and i'm about to take my twist down so what i like to do is i like day two here day one here is uh day two day three day four day five here popping and y'all been seeing on my instagram i always tag like oh day three here featuring this product and you guys are like wow this is day three and i'm like yes this is day three so this is how my twist look the following day still nice and juicy looking i sat under the dryer last night for about 30 minutes just to make sure my hair was dry before going to bed also i usually style my hair when it's like a little air dry but you guys saw i did it directly in the shower yesterday so i had to make sure my hair was dry before i went to bed i'm not trying to be sick or none of that so now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna unravel my twice and when i unravel them i'm just gonna separate them like where they naturally separate but y'all look at the definition so far okay okay Okay, so I went ahead and took out my twist and separated my hair a little bit. And this is how it's looking. But as you guys can see, this is not my C's. I like my hair nice and voluminous. So let me show you guys what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my Bread Beauty Supply scrunchie. This scrunchie is bae. Like, if you have thick hair and you struggle with finding a scrunchie that stretches wide enough, that doesn't leave the crease when you use a scrunchie, this, and it's black on. 
black owned sold in Sephora. But I take this and I just put my hair up overnight. And then I'm going to show you guys how I take it down tomorrow. Did I shave my armpits? I don't think so. But we worried about the hair on the head, okay? So, yeah, I'm going to leave my hair like this overnight. And then I'll be back tomorrow to show you guys what I do to achieve that nice voluminous look that I love. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The face is B, okay, Haim? So I'm back. It's currently the following day. So yesterday you guys saw me take my twist down. Today you guys are going to see me fluff and separate my hair. So that's what we finna do right now. Also, before we get into that, I know people are going to ask about the face beat. I didn't record it, but if you guys want to see it, then I have no problem recording it. We doing no lashes today. We doing brown liner today. Like, who is she? But I'm going to go ahead and take my scrunchie out. Once again, this is my Bread Beauty Supply scrunchie, black owned brand. Have really been loving this scrunchie. I'll have a link down below. But this is what my hair is looking like now. It's giving very much so Johnny Bravo. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Edges. We're not even going to get into that, okay? I'm going to put myself down a little so y'all can see. So this is my hair after I take my scrunchie out. This is what I look like before y'all see the beautiful fro on Instagram. This is always what I look like. So I'm going to show you guys. I'll just speed through it. What I'm going to do is basically just take each section of my hair and like fluff it out. This takes a while. It does take a while. But y'all see what the results be looking like. So it's worth it. And I like to do my perimeter first just because that's where we see the most results. And then I work my way to the middle. Like this little section I just did. Y'all see how we already see a difference? Okay. Okay, okay. So for the most part, my hair is now separated, but just to give it a little bit more volume, I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in with my pick and I'm just going to fluff my roots a little bit more. I don't really like to manipulate my hair too much just because as the days go on, it does continue to open up and we don't want to add too much frizz to the hair. So I don't really be doing too, too much. But then again, at the same time, your girl loves herself some volume. Once again, still haven't shaved my armpits. So just mind your business. You know what I'm saying? So this is going to be our final look for day two. Comment and let me know what you guys think. I think it came out really good like the definition and I really think it's from the mousse because as I was applying I felt the definition whenever I put the mousse on my hair so this is what we have for day two but now I wanted to give you guys my honest thoughts and opinions on each and every one of the products that we use in today's video so the first product that we used was the Texture ID Curl Clarifying Shampoo. This shampoo is sulfate-free, clarifying, and has honey in it. So this shampoo I really loved. If you guys know me, y'all know my requirements for a shampoo is that it has to be moisturizing and it has to be clarifying. And I feel like I got both of these properties from this shampoo. It also helped get rid of product buildup because I did have a lot of product buildup, especially in my scalp. And I feel like this shampoo definitely helped a ton. So this shampoo, she gonna be in my rotation. And the next product we used was the Texture ID, three times moisture cream conditioner. This also has honey in it, and it claims to smooth hair and retain moisture. I did feel like I had a lot of moisture after using this conditioner. As you guys saw, I finger detangled and this product made it completely easy. The slip on this conditioner was great to me, so I can definitely see myself using this conditioner again. This conditioner I did have to use quite a bit of so i don't know if my hair was just extra dry extra thirsty or what but i did have to use a lot of this conditioner compared to other conditioners that i do have but i just wanted to note that other than that 
this conditioner worked well so after i used that conditioner i did go in with the texture id deep treatment mask this mask has sweet almond oil wheat protein and honey and it claims to restore strength and hydration after i used this deep conditioner i did notice that my hair was very moisturized but i feel like if you don't want to buy the conditioner and the, the hair mask you can go ahead and buy either or if you use a conditioner you can go ahead and keep it on for 10 minutes and then rinse it out that is just a little trick that i like to do just to help you guys save some coins so you can either use a conditioner and keep it in for 10 minutes or you can use a hair mask but tomato tomato for me and yeah and then for styling we use the texture id styling cream which has cocoa butter and shea butter in it and claims to provide medium hold while retaining moisture and elasticity and then we followed up with the texture id thermal multi styling foam which has wheat protein and argan oil and claims to strengthen and protect hair from breakage and improve shine and elasticity the combination of these two i really love my results the definition and the volume i'm here for you guys know no, I'm a volume over definition kind of gal but I feel like I I got an equal medium of the two with my day two hair so overall I love this combo I do want to try to twist up with just the styling foam so I'll probably do that on my IG story so you, if you guys don't make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at kinesthetic underscore and I do want to try out a twist up with just the foam and not the styling cream the styling cream a lot of people hyped her up this was probably the most talked about product that i saw from texture id which is why i went ahead and purchased these products but she was okay she wasn't all of that but then again i'm the type of girl when things are hyped up i'm expecting it to do what i wanted to do plus more i wanted to do tricks i wanted to do a back stand i wanted to do a headstand i wanted to do a back flip i wanted to twist my hair as soon as i put it on that's what i'm expecting when y'all be hyping things up and i don't be doing that so your girl be kind of disappointed but so yeah so these are the products that i use in today's video overall i love them i feel like my hair came out really good i did not see any flaking while taking my hair down i did want to note that too these products don't really have scents to them which i do appreciate because as you guys know i'm not always here for a scent when it comes to doing my hair especially when i'm keeping my hair for a day three five seven you know what i'm saying like i don't always like to smell something so i really appreciate that the scent on these products were very minimal and i know a lot of you guys do have concerns about scents of products so i did want to note that in this video as well but overall i love how my hair came out comment down below and let me know what you guys think let me get a little closer so y'all can see the definition okay girl okay girl but i really love how my hair came out overall i would highly recommend these products as i mentioned earlier i picked up these products from sally beauty so you guys can head over to their website no this is not sponsored i bought everything in this video with my own coins and all thoughts and opinions on my and y'all know i am honest af so i did want to throw that in there but that's all i have for today's video make sure before you guys head out you guys subscribe we're on the road to 10k so hit that subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful comment down below let me know your thoughts comments questions opinions on anything discussed in today's video let me know if you guys tried texture id before let me know if you guys are gonna pick it up after watching this video comment and let your girl know and until my next video i'll see you guys later